Hi everyone, in today's video, we will be looking at how to display elements in Elementor based on the nth weekday of the month using the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin. So for example, let's say you want to display this section based on the fourth Tuesday of the month. So let's see how we can do it using the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin. So for this tutorial, you need to have the dynamic U, dynamic content for Elementor, or dynamic visibility for Elementor, and the dynamic shortcodes plugin, and we're pairing that with Elementor. So now let's see how quick and easy we can do it. I'll also show you other things you can do with dates. You can pull in any dynamic dates that you want using the dynamic shortcodes plugin. For further information, you can check the Dynamic Shortcodes article. I'll leave a link to it in the description below where you can go and see other things you can do using dates with the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin. So now let's go over to the Elementor Edit page. So here we are on the Elementor Edit page. First, let's go ahead and see some of the cool ways you can manipulate dates using the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin. So I'll go ahead and drop in a heading widget. Then I'll click on the Dynamic Tags and choose the dynamic shortcodes. Then I'll click on the wrench icon. And now the way we manipulate dates is by opening the curly brace, then type in date with the colon, and then we'll put in the identifiers we want. The identifier can be either a text in form of a string. It can be in terms of another dynamic tag like an ACF field, or it can be like now, if you want the date for now, you just say now, and then close the curly brace, and it will give you the date, which is the 25th of June. If you want the date for tomorrow, you just put tomorrow, and close the curly brace, and that will give you the date for tomorrow, and you can see some other cool things which you can do with the dynamic dates. When you go over to the demo shortcodes, so you can see you can add, let's say you want to add 10 minutes from now, you can put that here, and then you can specify the kind of format you want. If you just want to only show the year, you use add format equal to year. And if you want just the month, you see add format equal to month. So this is a full list of some of the things you can use. So this is for the day, for the week, for the month, and so on and so forth. But that's if you want to get a specific date. But if you want to now use the text to say the fourth Tuesday of the month, you just literally have to type in this text. So rather than writing tomorrow, since it is more than a single text, then you have to put it in inverted commas or quotation marks. So let me put the quotation mark and say fourth Tuesday of this month. So it will always calculate the fourth Tuesday of the specific month, which is the 25th. If you want the fourth Thursday is the 27th. And that is the date for the next WordPress meetup in London. So if you want to attend it, I will leave a link to where the location is, where you can go ahead and join the meetup. Uh, that's for the fourth Thursday, but now we're looking for the third Tuesday, which is today. So the fourth Tuesday. So now that we know how we can get this date, all we have to do now is use this date inside a condition that will now help us to show or hide this section. And fortunately, we can either use dynamic visibility for Elementor, which is free, or dynamic content for Elementor, which is the pro version. Both of them will work for you. There are slight differences, but they will both work. So now let's see how we can do it. So this is the first one. The second thing we need is the date for now. Date now. As you can see, both dates are the same. So all we have to do now is basically look for a way to compare these two dates to form the condition for showing or hiding our section. So this is the section. 
with the dynamic visibility installed, I just see it here, visibility. I'll activate the visibility, yes. All I'm looking for is dynamic tags. You see date and time here, but that's not what we're going to use because we're going to be doing some comparison and it's not available here. So we'll go to dynamic tags. Then all I'll say is equal to. Then for the dynamic tag, we'll click on the tag, go to dynamic shortcodes, and then click on the wrench icon and simply put the first condition, which is open the curly brace, say date, colon, fourth, we'll put it in the quotation marks, fourth Tuesday of this month. Then close the curly brace. So that's the first value. Then the second value, this is where it's a bit different. If you have dynamic content for Elementor, you'll be able to see this dynamic tag here. But if you don't have it and you have the free version, which is the dynamic visibility for Elementor, you wouldn't see this tag. I'll show you how to do it using the free version. But since we have the pro version, we have this dynamic tag here. So we'll click on it. And then we'll go to the dynamic shortcuts again. Click on the wrench icon. And this time we'll say, open and close the curly brace, say date, colon, now. So we can now save it and that's it. And we'll preview it on the front end. And see, we can still see our section. But if the condition wasn't working, this section will have disappeared. So that is how simple and easy it is with the dynamic content for Elementor and dynamic shortcodes. But if you don't have dynamic content for Elementor, you really have dynamic visibility for Elementor, which is the free version. You now come back here. You wouldn't be able to see this value with the dynamic tag. So what you now do is you come back to the first one, which is the main dynamic tag. Then rather than just having the date here, you can now do the comparison directly inside the shortcode. So what we do is we now wrap this inside another shortcode, which is the equator. So EQ colon. So we're now comparing the two values. So the first value is this date. Go to the end, then space, and the second value, which is the date column. Now close it and make sure you close the second curly brace. So now we're just saying that check that the fourth Tuesday of this month is equal to the date for today. You can say now or you can say today. Anyone, the both of them will work. So now that we have this, the next thing we have to put in this value, because it has to be a static value, we just write true, T-R-U-E with a capital T. And then when we save it and look at the front end, it will still work. So those are the two ways you can do it. If you don't have dynamic content for Elementor, if you have dynamic content for Elementor, you use the first method. But both of them will give you the same result. And that is how simple it is. As you can see, the two dates are virtually equal. If I change this date, go back to the wrench icon, and rather than saying this month, I'll say next month to give me the date for July, which is the fourth Thursday for July. And that's how simple it is. If I want to now change the format, so I, rather than using this American format, say I want to use the format for maybe say Y-M-D, I forgot to put the equal to sign, equal to. You see, I get that date, 2024-07-23. And that's, so it's so simple. It's so easy using dynamic shortcodes. That's why I like using this plugin because it gives me maximum flexibility on how I can use dynamic tags. You can, rather than using static values like this, you can also use dynamic values if you have a date from a, maybe an ACF field, all you have to do is open and close the curly brace, say ACF column, and then you say the name of your field, and you can start basically nesting dynamic data inside dynamic data and do so many cool things. Like the example here, you see, you can even just do the addition directly on the date. So say one hour from now or one day from now. Let's show you the example. Let me say, I'll say 
date column, then put the string plus three days, close it. And then it gives me three days from today. So yeah, if you've liked this content, please do leave a like, write in the comments that you like the content. And if you want to support me, you can buy the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin using the affiliate link, which will be in the description. And I'll continue doing more content using the Dynamic U plugins. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.